what if I tell you that there are five key techniques that no one shares with you on the YouTube, but the language experts have been using them in their pronunciation training. Techniques that you will probably not be using nowadays, which is why their students are getting excellent results while you are struggling with low scores in the PT speaking. So what constitutes effective pronunciation? It turns out the best techniques for improving your pronunciation scores follow five simple yet powerful steps or techniques like pitch and lip movement. I experimented on the official PT mock test once with bad pronunciation and once following these five simple techniques. I'm going to show you shortly. My scores went straight to 90 after following them. You can see it on the screen. Welcome back everyone. I am Anurag from EduTrainX. In this video, I will break down each of these steps for you and your success will be determined in how effectively you improve your pronunciation in the early stages of your preparation. So tip one is to make sure the PT exam mic listens properly, not to what others are speaking. What I mean is that the PT microphone is very sensitive, although it has inbuilt noise cancellation. But first, you need to set it up correctly. Let me show it to you. This is how the PT microphone will be with the headset. And you should not be keeping your mic a little bit up or a little bit down. It should be right in front of your mouth. The actual mouthpiece will be somewhere in front of your mouth. So this is where you should be placing it. The next thing you need to be careful about that there are a lot of instances when people say that other people were actually shouting so loudly that it affects your speaking scores and you get a low score. Although it's very rare, but it has definitely happened to some of my students. What you need to do is if you get a really loud neighbor, you need to cover your mic like this. You remember where the mouthpiece was? You have to cover your mouth or the microphone properly so that only your responses are captured properly. It is very effective in noisy environments. If you cover the mic this way, this will not affect your responses, but it will make sure that the background noises, what the other people are making are not captured in your responses and your speaking scores will not be compromised because of this. You don't want to be losing your marks simply because the other guy decides to yell or shout their speaking responses, right? So you have put all the hard work and this is a solid way to make sure that you get the scores you deserve. Tip number two is to see how much of pronunciation does the AI understand. There is an easy way to do that. Search for free online speech to text or you can straight away go to speechtexter.com and start speaking anything like an article from sciencedaily.com. See which words it is not able to understand. Again, find the words it couldn't recognize and you think you pronounce it properly. For example, the AI did not understand practice because you might have said something like practice or practice. So just go to Google and type practice pronounce. It will give you an audio of how the word sounds. Listen and learn it. You do this for every word the AI can't understand. In our live classes, we do guide you about this, but it is literally impossible for us to work on all the pronunciation errors that you make. So it's you who need to act and fix them. We are here to guide you. I can assure you, you will see visible improvements within a week of doing this. Now, if you don't know this already, pronunciation matters only up to 60%. Even if you have that much pronunciation score, you can still get a 90 in speaking. But hold on, hold on. Do you know how much the read aloud contributes to your reading scores? And repeat sentence and retail lecture contributes to your listening scores? See the result of my experiment 
where I only attempted the speaking questions and I got 35 in reading and 40 in listening without even attempting any other questions apart from the speaking section. My point here is that if you push your pronunciation from 60 to around 75, then you get the maximum boost in your reading and your listening scores as well, like the one I just showed you. Whereas if your pronunciation score is only around 60%, your marks that get added to listening and speaking section from the speaking questions will be around 25, which is not what you want. You want to maximize it. Now, you know the importance of the pronunciation in the PT exam. Let's move on or move ahead to see more techniques to boost it. So tip three is to have a firm voice while speaking your responses. Weak voice, not good. Low pitch voice, not good. Again, high pitch voice, not good. Again, not good. You are probably thinking, how do I change my voice if my voice is like that? Don't worry, there is a simple technique that the professional singers have been using for a long, long time. And I will share the same with you shortly. But first, let's discuss about the impacts of not sounding good with the PTAI. What do you think will happen? The end results will be that the AI will not be able to understand you if your voice pitch is too high or if it is too low or too thick. It's a computer program basically. You can try it with any AI like Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. It will have difficulty in understanding you. Which is why I am saying that it will unnecessarily and tremendously lower your fluency and pronunciation scores and you will end up losing crucial points despite speaking well. Now the big question, how to make our voice firm? What to do? What the singers do to control their voice? Let me demonstrate. See, this is the microphone that how uh, we normally speak or how the singers speak. If you lower your chin or lower your neck, then your voice becomes a little thicker. If you elevate your neck or your chin and then try to speak, your pitch becomes a little higher, right? So I hope you understand what I am trying to say here. The way you should control your neck will impact how you sound. Did you notice the effects it had on my voice? You might have noticed some Bollywood singers do like this. Jokes apart, this is how you should actually not be doing it, but just control the pitch of your voice. Very simple yet effective technique, but you need to practice doing that so you can get the gist of how to do it effectively without straining your neck. Now tip number four relates to the misconception that your accent affects your pronunciation scores. People think that speaking in a foreign accent will actually lower your score or the regional accents or dialects have an impact on your PT speaking scores. The answer is no, absolutely not. There is no such thing that trying to copy the accent of a native speaker improves your PT speaking scores. In fact, it has a negative effect on how the AI understands you. I just remembered when I was in London and an Indian guy was trying to speak to the customer service. It was something like this, what he was trying to speak like a British guy. Hello, can you please help me unlock my phone? But the guy on the other side, was not able to understand him at all. He tried four to five times, but same result. Then he asked me to help to speak to the customer service. And then when I talked to the person on the other side in normal voice, he told me, thank God, I can finally understand what you are speaking. What accent was the other guy speaking? I was completely unable to understand it. Anyway, jokes apart, the point here is copying accent works negatively for you. Just speak naturally. Even your own regional 
dialects does not have an effect on your speaking scores as long as you can pronounce the words properly so lose the influence of your accents and just speak clearly and tip number 5 is to use lip movement to help you and learn to pronounce the words correctly you won't believe how much the lip movement worked for me and can help you to pronounce the words correctly i don't use it normally when i speak but while i was preparing for my pt exam and gave the official pt mock test once i suffered a setback in my speaking scores so i consciously started using lip movement when i used to do the read aloud questions or any other speaking questions as shared in the tip one earlier the words i realized i don't speak properly i googled them and learned them how to pronounce them properly and just repeated the same practice again and again now within a short span of time i was able to pronounce a lot better in a better manner and my results were amazing when i gave the final exam a full 90 in speaking same thing you can also achieve if you follow and implement these five simple techniques in your pt speaking preparation and before we sign off i would like to recommend you to watch the 7 day speaking challenge video to get a 90 score a great video to prepare you for the speaking section and will help you a lot in your preparation because that's the way crack the pt exam i will see you in the next video